Hey guys, how's it going? I just wanted to make another video, uh, a tutorial video on how to radius the cylinder head windows of your gearbox. Um, some people might have heard of radiusing before, but not many people might know exactly what it's for. So, on your cylinder or on the V2 gearbox in general, the biggest weakness of this design would is usually this front piece right here. Um, the reason being is that a lot of, especially like in the early days when it was just TM's um, cheap pot metal, without reinforcement. Uh, toward the front of the gearbox, um, about right along this line right here where the cylinder head meets the cylinder, um, it would crack and you can sometimes still see this with really high stress builds um, nowadays. So what you can do is first add sorbethane to your um, to your cylinder head to help cushion the blow. That's, that's one step. But to take it one step further, um, if you look really carefully right, right here and right here, you can see that there's a little bit of a shelf um, sitting where the cylinder head meets the cylinder head, uh, where the cylinder meets the cylinder head. And that little window right there is what we're going to try and radius off. And the reason being is that when you have such a sharp step between these two parts right there, the impact of the, um, of the, cylind of the piston against the cylinder head um, causes a lot of stress right here and since this is where it rests it can snap off at that point so instead of having it at this 90 degree angle if you smooth it out and make it this sort of radius curved part right there um, it has less chance of breaking it's not impossible to break but it's still going to be a lot harder for you to break your cylinder head window so what I like to do is first of all I usually do this into the trash can but since I don't have or since I want to show you guys how to do this, um, I'm going to have it right here. Um, I should also mention that Mike or Mikey or Lori Mikey uh, has a um, really good tutorial, and that's who I learned how to do this from. So if you guys want to check out his tutorial, it's pretty good, but I wanted to make a, a video for my subscribers too, just in case they didn't know how to do this or they wanted to learn from me instead of him for whatever weird reason. Anyway, so then what I do is I take this rat tail file, and let me see if I can... Let me see if I can zoom up on this really quick and position it in a way that you guys can see. So then I usually take it pointing at this angle like this, um, sort of positioning, man, this is just a really bad angle, um, sort of positioning my, um, my rat tail file. And you generally want to use a really large grit rat tail file for this, a metal rat tail file preferably. And I usually like to aim it about right here, and I just want to go back and forth on it. So then, let me just... Okay, so then, let me see if I can clean this up a little bit. Okay, so if you can see what I did there really quick, you see how that sort of radius is off now? And if you look to the outside, you can sort of see where you can see that on the bottom right here. And if you go really extreme with this, you can see where these little divots come out and where this little corner radius is off too. Um, a lot of companies like G&G &G, uh, do something similar to this, but the problem with theirs is that despite radiusing it, and G&G has a notorious sort of gearbox failure rate, even with the radius corners, is that even with that radiusing, they forget to completely take off that step right there. And that's what causes their gearboxes to fail, fail so much. Yeah, so if you see right here, you can sort of see that little divot now. Um, and it's not, I mean, I, and then some people make the mistake of just trying to recreate this divot right here, and that's not what you're trying to do. You're trying to, um, if I understand this correctly, you're trying to, you know, radius off this part so that the impact becomes less on the front end of your of your gearbox. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and do the top part too. And I like this modification because, especially if you have a coarse enough file like I do, it 
really doesn't take a whole lot of time because even the nicer gearboxes, like in this case it's a GNP gearbox shell, um, they're still using relatively soft uh, aluminum zinc um, metals in their in their gearboxes. So it's not it's like it's almost like a pot metal. It's not like like reinforced steel or uh, seventy seventy five aluminum. So it's and even aluminum is pretty easy to go through most of the time. So, I mean, as you can see right there, you can sort of work those divots off. And there's, Mike, you could probably give a better explanation of how to radius these off. But, um, let me zoom out a little bit now. But yeah, that's what you're going to want to do to both sides of your gearbox shell. And that should hopefully um, take the stress off of your, um, the front of your gearbox. And so far, and having never cracked the front end of a gearbox myself, um, I can't say that um, that's... The, the radius thing is the only reason, but I do it to every gun that I get. I radius off the um, the front ends right here because it's such a quick modification and it, it's, it really helps with longevity, at least that I've seen, especially running my DSG and some of the higher FPS builds. It um, doesn't take a whole lot of time either. You can do this in like, I mean, this, is, this will take me 10 minutes after this is done to make sure that everything's cleaned up, um, but it's definitely a reliability mod that you want to do to your guns. Okay, so if you guys have any questions or want, you know, concerns, comments, um, just leave them in the comment section below. Otherwise, uh, have a good day, guys.